Only you deserve the glory. Let's lift our voice and worship God wherever you are. Only you deserve the glory. Oh, faithful God. Everybody, if you can, let's worship together. Faithful God. Oh, faithful God. If you know God is faithful to you, lift your voice and worship in the last song. You are a faithful God, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. Faithful God, we worship you. Faithful God, we worship you. Faithful God, we worship you. Somebody celebrate God in the house of God. All right, let's have our seat. Briefly, I want to bring forth God's word to us. Our daddy will still come to give us our fatherly blessing. 
Praise God. Daddy, I appreciate for this great of privilege. I pray that the Lord will continue to uphold you and keep you in Jesus' name. Quickly, I want us to read the book of 2 Timothy. As our daddy asked me to share briefly, the Holy Spirit took me to this place. I want to speak to us briefly on God of faithfulness. Amen. God of what? Faithfulness. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 13. Okay, I want us to read it together. Everybody, let's read it together now. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny who he is. Can we read it in another version? If we give up on him, he does not give up, for there is no way he can be forced to him. So, okay, finally, let's read it. New King James Version. If we are faithless. Now, I want you to say it and personalize it. If I am faithless or unfaithful, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. Say a positive amen. amen. Now, what this scripture means that in the nature of God, faithfulness is in his what? In his nature. Faithfulness is the nature of who? Of God. Praise the Lord. So it says, even if you are unfaithful, even if you are faithless, it says, your faithlessness, your unfaithfulness will not change whom God is. The Bible says, he will not deny himself because you cannot deny whom you are because whom you are is part of you. Whom God is, is a God of what? Faithfulness. What it means, being God of faithfulness, it means that God will always stand on his word to make sure that what he says comes to pass. Praise the Lord. So, there are times that even if you want to push God to become unfaithful to himself, God will still tell you that you cannot change my nature. My nature is to be what? To be faithful. Say positive amen. amen. And I pray for you and I here. God shall remain faithful in your life. Something happened in the scripture. I want us to read Acts chapter 27. Acts chapter 27. Let's start from verse 21. Give it to us. But after long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Man, you should have listened to me and not have sailed from the crates and incur this disaster and loss. Of course, we have had it. It's very, very good. You pay attention to the prophecy that is given to you. So, Paul gave them this prophecy. Let's go ahead. Verse 22. And now I urge you to take heart. For 
there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the sheep. Though these people here, they have ignored the word of prophecy that came to Paul to them. What they should do, what they should pay attention in that journey. But they ignore the word of Paul. And Paul was saying them, you would have paid attention to what I told you. What you are experiencing now is as a result of ignoring my instruction. But it says here in that verse 22, or verse 21, that place we just read. He said, okay, let's go to verse 22 now. He says, and now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the sheep. Verse 23. For there stood by me this night an angel of the Lord, angel of God, to whom I belong. Hallelujah. It's good you belong somewhere. Look at where Paul belong. To whom I do what? I belong. And whom I serve. Verse 24. Say it. Do not be afraid. Paul, you must be brought before Caesar. And indeed, God has granted you all. Those who serve with you. Verse 24. Five. Therefore, take heart, men, for I believe God that it will be just as it was told me. Praise the Lord. It will be just as it was told me. Now, a few things I want you to understand here. Your faithlessness, your unfaithfulness can cause a disaster. Praise God can bring up problems in your journey of life. And that is why it's better to be what? To be faithful. They said prevention is better than what? Cure. Praise God. Because there are some pains, problems that you went through as a result of your unfaithfulness. Though at the end, God may show mercy, but the pains you have gone through the loss you have incurred, you are the one that will suffer it. So it's better to avoid than to fall and looking for a way out. Am I making a point to someone? So here, these people, they have disobeyed the instruction of Paul. But because of the faithfulness of God, because of God will always stand on his word. Because the Bible says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word, every out of my word will surely come to pass. There is no man, there is no authority, there is no power that can change the counsel of God, that can change the word of God. God said, my counsel shall stand. No matter how the devil push hard, no matter how nation push hard, no matter how circumstances, situation, turn things around, turn table around. I want to tell someone here, according to the word of God, the counsel of God will always stand short. Paul told them, you have incurred the problem you are going through, but men and women, hear me, and hear the word of God from my mouth. As God has spoken to me, as God has assured me, there shall be no loss among us here. No matter your, your disobedience, no matter you have even started facing the consequences of your disobedience. But let me reassure you, because what God said will come to pass, there shall be no loss. Because the devil has come to cause loss among them. 
But because of what God said to Paul, Paul stood in confidence and said to them, there shall be no loss of life. He was not saying it because he just wanted to say it. He was not saying it because he wanted to excite them. He was not saying it because he felt as a human being to say it. No, he was saying it because he was convinced before the presence of God. He was convinced by the knowledge of the word of God that what he is saying will surely come to pass. Am I communicating? Now that is why when you have not gotten assurance from God, when God has not spoken, when you have not gotten confession from God, you don't stand to declare your own cancer. Am I communicating? Because your cancer may fail, but when you are declaring the cancer of God, God will always honor his cancer. Am I talking to someone here? Barashabalaba. Paul said that last night I was in communication. I was in a vision. I was in fellowship with the angel of God whom I belong to. Praise God. He had a relationship with who? The angel of God. He had a fellowship relationship with who? With God. So he knew what he was saying. This year 2021, I want to encourage you Build up a strong relationship with God. So when you stand, you stand in the confidence of in God. When you stand, you stand and speak, knowing that inside you have a strong relationship. Am I talking to someone? He said, whom I belong to. Where do you belong? Whom do you belong? Do you have a personal relationship? Have you been convinced by God? Praise God. So you must climb this year in your rela spiritual relationship with God. So that when you speak, you speak the counsel of God. When you speak, you speak the voice of God. Am I talking to someone? Say a better amen. amen. God is not a God that does experiments. God is always free. What he says will come to pass. If he didn't say it, that is where you see women been trying to do one thing or the other. To make sure that what they say come to pass. You don't need your own personal effort to make sure that what God says comes to pass. If he has said it, and he said it through you, it will surely come to pass. Say a positive amen. amen. That is why you must pay attention to him to make sure that you hear from him. When you hear from him, you don't do guesswork. Am I talking to someone? Labakatosia. Paul too talked. He spoke like someone who was what? Convinced by his conversation with who? With God. Shout a better amen. He said, what I'm telling you, I am sure of it. Praise God. And he said to them, I know it will surely be even as God had told me. When that problem came up, when the devil showed up to cause a shipwreck, to make sure that even Paul and those that were with him drowned in the sea, God sent his angel in order to protect Paul. And let me tell you, Every other person there would have drowned. That ship would have capsized and everybody would go. But hear me, because Paul was there, Paul's presence saved the life of others. When Paul said, I am very sure there will not be loss of life, Paul was saying it because he was convinced of what God has promised him. Are you hearing me? That is why there is a level of your relationship with God that God can for your sake save your entire family. Am I talking to someone? There is a level of your relationship with God. God can for your sake the covenant he has with you. If the devil has marked anybody in your family dead, God will because of you save the life of that person. Do you know why? 
because God knows if that person is afflicted, if that person is touched in one way or the other, it will touch you. But because God is a God who cares for his children, it because he's God that will defend you, that will not want you to be in pain, that thing that will cause you pain, God will go ahead to stop it. Knowing that if you lost that soul, it will pain you. God will make sure that he protect that soul. I am here standing on this altar to speak to you. God will defend you and make sure that you don't find yourself in pain. If you believe that, rise on your feet and shout that amen like a believer. That is why you don't need to only deal with or think it's all about yourself. When you know whom you are and know the gap you are standing, it will encourage you to buckle up. Say amen. There are times that you will refuse to compromise. Not only because of your sake, but because of the sake of the generation that you carry. Malagado Shabalaba. Because when that mistake is done, if the calamity begins to fall, it will not only fall on you, it will also fall on the generation that you carry. I want to tell someone here, there are so many generations on your shoulder. God is looking up to you. One man could stand in a gap as a nation. The Bible says when Rebecca was pregnant, he said two nations are in your womb. He was referring to two young men. Means that one man was standing as what? God was seeing one man as what? Karabasha. I want you to grab this and get this understanding. He was seeing one man as what? A nation. A nation is made up of multitude of souls, cities, states. God was seeing one man as a nation. Some of you don't know what, whom. The level God is seeing you is not about you. You may be that voice that God will listen to and avoid the destruction that will come. That is why I stand to charge you today. May you never mess up your Christianity. Don't mess up your relationship with God. Because when you mess it up, entire nation may suffer it. Entire family may suffer it. Entire community may suffer it. Entire group may suffer it. I pray that the hand of God will deliver you and I. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shout that amen like thunder. So when he said, there shall be no loss of life, he knew as long as he was there, nobody would die. <laughs> there is a level you will get to in relationship with God. You will know that things don't happen to you anyhow. Has it occurred to you that presidents, leaders, they don't die anyhow? Do you know why? Because they are the first citizen of the nation. Even some of them that are unbelievers. Have you cared to know that even when they are caught, they don't die anyhow? Because their death affects what? The entire nation. Are you hearing me? Now I'm bringing it to the spiritual community spiritual understanding you find out that so many of us represent a nation god will make sure that you don't lose your place and lose your life because your life being lost will affect many who am i talking to look at what gave paul assurance what in chapter 23 Remember what we read is 27. Look at verse, chapter 23, verse 11. Now, this was the time that Paul has ministered in Jerusalem. And they were after his life. Some, some even Jewish men vowed to take his life by force 
You remember them? About how many of them? 40 men. I think so. They beat their hearts that we will not eat nor drink until we make sure Paul is dead. Now that is to tell you the kind of world we are living. This we are human beings that vow we will make sure that Paul goes down. But here we read in the scripture, that 23, 23, 20, uh, verse 11. He said, by the following night, the Lord stood by him and said, be of good cheer, Paul, for as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness at Rome. Paul, you see, by standing by me, sharing the word of God, reaching out to the Jewish nation, talking to the Israelites, what you are doing here, it will not end in this Jerusalem. I will take you to Rome. You will stand before kings. You will stand before government. You will stand the people of Rome. And the same thing you are preaching here, you will preach it in Rome. So where we read in chapter 27 was Paul's journey to where? To Rome. The prophecy of God, the word of God was all hanging around his neck. What you are saying in Jerusalem, I am taking you to Rome to say the same thing because there are people in Rome that need it. There is something new I want to do in Rome. This spread of the gospel is not only for Jerusalem. I want to move it to where? To Rome. And do you know, it's by the gospel in Rome that spread to Europe. So, going to Rome was a mission that would touch the whole world. Going to Rome was a mission to touch people in government. Going to Rome was a mission to go and stand before president and share the same gospel. And hear me, the same gospel you can preach to small group of people. If God give you the platform to share it before president, before kings, let me tell you, the effect of it and the spread of it will be louder than when you say it in a group of people. Through of us. You know why? It will be louder because government will carry the news. <laughs> it will be louder because from there, government that people in authority will give you more platform. You will have a stronger voice, stronger platform. No more in a small group. You are not talking to nations. Am I talking to someone? I stand to prophesy to someone here. What God is using you to do in that small scale, God is about to give you a higher platform. Hey. Oh, Malagadarabasha God knows there is no how Paul will step into the government and his ministry will remain the same. <laughs> that is life for you. And that was what the devil saw. That was what the enemy pictured. Knowing that the level of poor ministry was about to change. That is why the devil will never be happy when you are moving upward. When you are about to move to your next level. Oh, hear me by the word of God. You must get to your destination. Maru Paheta, whether the devil like it or not, I speak to you by the word of God. You must cherish and embrace that new level. My brother, it is better to do things where you are celebrated rather than where you are tolerated. Some of the things Paul was doing in Jerusalem, they were just tolerating him. He was faithful.
passing war here and there. They were seeing him. Who is this? Who are you coming to tell us what we know? They were familiar with Paul. Familiar because they see Paul. They are from the same place. They didn't appreciate it more. But God knows the same thing Paul is doing. When he gets to Rome, when he gets to Europe, he to spread abroad. I am here to speak to you. You shall be celebrated and not be tolerated. There are people that will just tolerate you. Just bear with you. But let me tell you, there are people that when they see what you have and carry, they are ready to announce you the more. And I speak to someone here, including your business, you are about to be announced. You will move from where you are, where you are tolerated, to a place where you are celebrated. You hear me? When you are where you are celebrated, your voice will be more heard. I stand on this exalted altar. I decree and declare your days of small scale, your days of being tolerated is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Whether the devil like it or not, I stand on this altar. I prophesy over your life. You must be celebrated. Whatever that has limited you, limited your finances, limited your business, limited your ministry, I stand on this altar. I decree and declare it's over for that limitation. Somebody shout, my voice must be here. My voice must be here. That your grace must speak. Amen. That your ministry must speak. Amen. That your potential must speak. Amen. Hear me and hear me well. Yes, there is no how you can catch grace. You can't catch grace. That's right. When you carry grace, hey. no matter how men try to catch you, hey. one day that grace will have burst. That's right. It's like a gas. Put in a container. Even when you try to close it, the day the heat will be much, that the molecular system will jump together and expand. There is a time the cloud will be thick, and there is no ocean than the cloud to empty the rain. This year, 2021, I prophesy over your life. Your own cloud must be empty. Your own cloud must be empty. Amen. I say your mo- no, your own cloud Amen. must be empty. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shout the heaven like thunder. Amen. If you read Acts chapter 9 and you read a thing verse 15 when Paul got repented and God was talking to Ananias the priest because they all knew who Paul was, knew the kind of person he was going after the people of God. They find it difficult to believe Paul when he got born again, including the apostles. They were still weighing whether this man has believed or not. A man that supervised the killing of Stephen. Are you hearing me? And he said, I am now what? Born again. I have changed. I have encountered Christ. They were still looking at him with one eye. Including the priests. Including Ananias. But hear me. Because God has accepted Paul and approved Paul. When men were trying to disbelieve him and disapprove him, he took God to come by himself to convince them that this one, I have chosen him. This year, 
no matter what is trying to disapprove you, God will intervene. Amen. Sometimes people will wear you. Are you real or not? Listen to me. As long as you are real with God, sometimes you don't need the problems of men to believe you. Whom God approves is approved. The door God open, no man can shut it. When God chooses you, even when you are not perfect, God will stand by you and make sure he accomplishes what he says concerning you. This year, Makula Hete, Barabasha, it does not matter what they say about you. As long as you are real with God, you must manifest. Amen. I say you must manifest. Hey. I say you must manifest. Hey. I say you must manifest. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. That was why God appeared to Ananias. Look at that chapter 9 verse 15. He said to him, But the Lord said to him, Go, he is a choosing one, vessel of mine, to bear my name before Gentiles. Kings and the children of Israel. This was the total package of Paul's ministry. Number one, to reach out to the Jewish Israel, where he found himself. Charity begins where? At home. Now, from there, to move to the Gentiles. Praise God. And from there, I move to a bigger level of going to whom? Kings. That was where the level of poor ministry he was going to. When he was going to Rome. That was why the devil came in that sea and stood. You must die here. Because he know when he starts speaking to kings. That everything, the ministry will grow. And will touch more lives. He said you must die here. This ship will not survive. He fought. If you read through that 27, you find out that they, uh, they made a crisis that they were not even able to handle. But what gave Paul assurance is because of the prophecy that has gone ahead of him. That what you are doing in Jerusalem, you will do it in Rome. I don't know what God has said over your life. And I don't know what you are going through today. All you need is to stand with God. That thing God said must surely come to pass. Let all men be what? Liars. And let God remain what? Only through God. That is why I introduced that scripture to you. He said, even when you are faithless, even if you are trying to threaten God with your unfaithfulness and you want to push him not to do his counsel, Bible said God cannot do what? Deny himself. He cannot deny what he says. Say amen. Amen. I speak to you as you hear the word of God. God will stand in his faithfulness and make sure that his word over your life comes to pass. If you believe that, say positive, amen. amen. Now hear me. It does not mean that you should go and live in unfaithfulness. It not, does not mean that you should go and live in faithlessness. Because when you do that, it is at your own detriment. You can even kill yourself before the time. You can deny yourself of the blessing. You can deny yourself where you're supposed to attend to. You can suffer pains. You can suffer sorrow. Praise the Lord. So the best for you is to stand with who? With God. Tell your neighbor, stand with God. Stand with God. Even in that ship, in the midst of that crisis. Does it matter for you? Paul was still standing with who? With God. Said, the angel whom I do walk, belong. So in the midst of that crisis... He didn't step out disbelieving God like so many of us do because you are facing challenges. Your prayer has not been answered. You get discouraged. 
You get angry with God. You say to God, why me? No, you don't need to do that. In the midst of crisis, in the midst of trouble, stand with God. As long as you stand with God, God will surely perfect his counsel. Is somebody getting understanding here? Say a positive amen. Finally, in Isaiah chapter 45, there is something I saw that makes me to have greater confidence in God. That it does not matter what is happening. What God said about me, he will be faithful to accomplish it. I will share it with you. When we look at Isaiah chapter 45, can we read it? I want to close with this so that our daddy can take over. Now we read from verse 1. You can read it with me. Look at what it says. Thus says the Lord to his anointed. To who? Cyrus. Whose right hand I have held. To do what? To subdue nations. I don't know your own assignment that God has choose to hold your hands and make sure that you accomplish that assignment. Watch this. To subdue nations before him and to lose the armor of kings and another one said the loins of kings to open before him the double doors so that the gate will not be shut. Go to verse 2. I will go before you and I will make the crooked places straight. I will break, I will break in pieces the gate of bronze and cut the bars of iron. Verse 3. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, I am the God of who? Look at verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called you by your, I have named you Though you have not known me. Did you get some, something there? He said what? Though you have not known me. Number one. I will uphold your hands. To subdue what? Nations. I will make crooked places what? Straight for you. God is doing it to a man. Who does not know him. He said I will break the iron gates. Open. I will give nations into your hands. I will do it for my name's sake. Though you have not known me, I call you my anointed. You are my what? So can I believe I be an anointed of God? Answer by yourself. He said, say to the anointed Cyrus, I will do this, I will do that. Now hear me. When this prophecy came, Cyrus was not yet born. According to Bible study, it took like 200, between 200 to 400 years for this prophecy to do what? Come to pass. Even Isaiah who prophesied it was not alive to see the fulfillment. And hear me. When this young man was born in Pesha, according to the Bible study, this man, as he was growing up, one of his uncle was not happy with him. And the uncle vowed that he would make sure that this Cyrus is dead. Because he saw Cyrus as a threat. Now, someone among them, like Enani, saw this threat and picked Cyrus and hid Cyrus in a house of a shepherd so that that uncle would not do what? Will not kill him. That was why when you see in the Bible, there is a place that God calls Cyrus, my what? My shepherd. 
because he grew up under a shepherd. All this thing was happening to him when this man did not do what? No God. Do you know why? Because God has said something about him. God stood by him and made sure that nothing tampers with his life and destiny until this man lived to accomplish the prophecy and the purpose of God. As he was growing up, he came to him, let me join the patient army. He joined the patient army. He was growing there. He got to the level that he now became king of Persia. And it thought of him. This Babylon that is terrorizing the whole world. Let's go and take over what? Babylon. Without knowing that that desire to take over Babylon, it was still the fulfillment of God's prophecy. For it is God that works in us but to will and do his will. Certain things that you will to do, you may not know. It is God that is putting it in your heart to do it because God has a mission to accomplish. I speak over your life. It does not matter what you are going through. You must live to accomplish the mission of God. And what gave me more confidence did sickness came to kill this man? Yes. Many attack came on his way as he was growing. But because God wanted to use him to fulfill a purpose, this man did not lose his life. It was this man when Bathsheba, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, when the pride entered into his head and he began to use the cup that was in the temple of God and began to drink and make merriment he called a feast and the bible says that immediately he drank with the golden cup of the temple there was a hand that was written on the wall that wrote take it take it many fasting he said you have been weird your kingdom is what is numbered there this man was making merriment with his people and god touched the heart of cyrus he mobilized his people and came to Babylon. And when he came to the gates, the soldiers at the gates were all inside, making merriment with their king, drinking, and got drunk. Nobody was at the gate to stop him. To fulfill the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 45, I will open the two leave gates. When he came, Nobody was at the gate to stop him. He entered with his troop. The king was there making merriment. He entered, captured, killed the king, took over Babylon. The first decree he made was Jerusalem. Go back and rebuild your temple. Accomplishing what God has said. What am I saying here? If God can stood by the side of an unbeliever, Unbeliever, special people are occultic people. God made sure that this man did not lose his life. Even when there was a threat to kill him, God was standing by him. He said, even when you don't know me, you must accomplish my purpose. That gave me confidence. If God can stood by an unbeliever to make sure that he lived and accomplish his purpose, how much more me that is in covenant with God? How much more you that is in covenant with God? I want to tell you, our God is too faithful. He will uphold you. You will not die before your time. He will keep you. You must accomplish the purpose of God for your life. If you believe with me, stand on your feet and shout, I believe. Listen to me. Stand on your feet. Listen to me. I'm about to drop the mic. To he that believes, all things are possible. What I'm telling you, if you believe it, it will be established for you. If you don't believe it, it may not be established for you. By the understanding I have the word of God, I believe no man can stop me before my time. I believe I can die before my time. I believe it does not matter the gang up. I shall live to fulfill the mission and purpose of God. If you are in the same page with me, lift your voice and say, God, you are God of faithfulness. You will uphold me.
you will uphold me. You will uphold me. You will keep me. You will keep me. What you say, what you say, must come to pass. Must come to pass. In my life, in my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray that prayer. I'm not hearing your voice. Lift your voice and pray. Lapa, shapa, you walk all over yourself. Parabosh, take God. I believe your word. I believe your word. I believe your word. You walk all over yourself. Lubalesh, Lubalesh, I believe you, God. Lubalesh, you walk all over yourself. Open your mouth and begin to declare the word of God over your life. I shall live to fulfill my divine purpose, my divine mission. Nothing will cut me short. I will not die before my time. Lift your voice. If you believe the word of God, lift your voice and pray wherever you are. My God, I pray Come on! 
Father, we thank you. Get a triple seed in your hand. Get a triple seed representing God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Get a triple seed. Lift it up. Say in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God. Every prophecy. Or trance. Declaration. Cancel of yours. Cancel of yours. Of yours. Which you have used your son. To decree. To declare. Upon my life and my family and divine majesty, worship ministry, members, workers, ministers, worshippers, and relations and friends. In the name of Jesus, it's irreversible, irrevocable, it can never be cancelled, it can never be disannulled, it can never be shaken out. I use, I use this seed to say those cancels, those utterances, those, those, those declarations, those, those decrees, those, decree, those prophecies, prophecies must surely come to pass, come to pass in, my life, in my life. And after I leave the earth, and after I leave the earth it will continue, it will continue with, my with my relations, with my children, with my, children, with my lineage. With my lineage from generation, from generation to generation, if Jesus started, if Jesus started from, coming, from coming, and everyone say, hey. Oh, let your man be stronger. Want to go? Hey. The second time, hey. the third time, hey. the fourth time, hey. louder the fifth, hey. louder the sixth, hey. loudest. Hey. Father, we are sealing it with the precious blood of Jesus. For 21 times, one to go. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Two. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Three. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Four. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Five. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Six. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Seven. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Louder eight. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Louder nine. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Louder ten. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Eleven. The blood of Jesus. Sir. Twelve. The blood of Jesus. Louder thirteen. The blood of Jesus. Louder fourteen. The blood of Jesus. Louder 15, the blood. Louder 16, the blood. Louder 17, the blood. Louder 18, the blood. Louder 19, the blood. Louder 20, the blood. Loudest. My Jesus today, I say today, today. My Jesus tomorrow, my Jesus forever. Divine Majesty is a miracle God. Is a miracle God. Tomorrow, tomorrow, love is on forever. Hallelujah. 
Oduma gago zuma la lole. Baba hum, baba hum. Osura ya zike. Amu bora kujulo. Seul à sous ta pression, et ça même en suisse. No waiting, they make me fine. Oh, bien, oh, un jour de tiens de ce n'a dit pas ma tension. N'a dit pas.
Kabir, 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 Give Jesus a clap and offering. Hallelujah. For some times now, this is my first time to see our prophetess on the show. Praise God. I'm a Morgan holiday. And he has a seat of prophetess. Can a prophetess go on holiday? May God help us in Jesus' name. Have your seat. Praise God. I want to appreciate God for what came to us today, including last night, including on Monday night. May the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. I just want to thank, give advice or counsel. Because one of the things he said, he said, them don't mess up their relationship with God. Do you know what he said? One of the things he said, praise God. There are four, it may be more than that, but for me, for now, there are four types of personalities. You must not mess up your relationship with. Take it home. Run it wherever you are. Have it in mind. There are four kind of personalities. You must. I use the word must. Not mess up your relationship with. There are four type of personality. You must not fight. Against. There are four kind of personality you must not always put the word must. You must not quarrel with. Then you can add more. Praise God. That is, you must not gossip against and so on and so forth. The first personality is who? God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You must not mess up your relationship with who? God. When you mess up your relationship with God, hell and man will mess you up. No matter what you are going through, no matter what is happening, don't mess up your relationship with God. And there are different ways to mess it up. But I don't want to go further. Praise God. Don't fight your God. You must not quarrel with your God. Praise God. As the first. The second personality you must not mess up your relationship with has to do with your father and your what? Mother. What did I say? Your father and your mother. Praise God. 
When I'm talking about father and mother, I'm talking about your biological. I'm not talking about your spiritual father now. I'm talking about your biological father and your biological mother. That does not mean they don't have their fault. They have plenty of fault. But you must not mess up the relationship with them. You must not fight them. You must not quarrel with them. Praise God. I don't want to start bringing scriptures, but it's just an act. Counsel and advice. Even though your mother is a witch and your father is a wizard, leave her and him to God. Praise God. The Bible says in Proverbs 2020, Proverbs 2020, whoever, whoever causes, remove force, fight, remove fight, quarrels, remove quarrel, and put any other thing. His what? Father or his what? Mother. What happened? His lamp will be put out. Will be put out in deep darkness. Your relationship with your biological father, your relationship, he can marry one million wives. The scripture cannot be broken. Praise God. So do everything. Make sure your relationship with your father and your mother is what maintained. The third person, you want to hear the third person? The third person is no other person than your spiritual father. And your spiritual mother. Praise God. Your spiritual father. And your spiritual mother. Do everything in your capacity. To pick fight. With him or with her. Do everything in your capacity. To. Pick quarrel with him or her. Most of the time it may not be easy, but ask God to help you and pray. That does not mean they are God. That does not mean they are innocent too. But that is how God has said it. Praise God. If you commonize what I am telling you, if you see it as non important, at the end the person will regret. Praise God. I pick these things, these four things, which may be more, but I'm start stopping on fault based on what our pastor said. Praise God. Do, I'm repeating it, do everything to pick offense, quarrel, fight. With your spiritual father and your mother. You may do it and succeed. But the cause and what follows it is from generation to generation. Praise God. The fourth part, the fourth part, very, very important. Do everything it can take you or it will take you to maintain your relationship with your helpers. With your what? Helpers. I don't want to put divine helpers. No, I don't want to put them. Because helpers can come from anybody. Do everything you can to maintain 
relationship with your helpers. With your helpers. Whether political helpers, whether non other religion helpers, whether your own or Christian helper, as far as that man, that woman, that person, God bring him or her to your way to help you actualize destiny, to actualize vision, to get to the top. Never fight him. Never fight her. Never pick offense with him. Never pick offense with her. Never quarrel with him. Never quarrel with her. Can we stand on our feet? I want you to pray. In any of this, you think you have gone astray. You think you are breaking an age. You think you are not getting it right. You know if what I am telling you or what I have told you is lie, as take time as Holy Spirit. Don't forget the message our brother said. God did not use who? A Jew to deliver it, the Jews. God used who? A Gentile. So no matter who, who he is, no matter who she is, as long as as is a helper to actualize God's plan and purpose for your life. Don't pick quarrel. Don't pick offense with him, with her. That does not mean the person will be, I mean, pampering you. That does not mean the person will be calling you jolly jolly. At times he may be angry at you. But this is wisdom to get to your destination very fast and to get to your top. I don't know where you have missed it. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God for forgiveness. Talk to him. Thank you, Jesus. 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 La raga sa kalle mama kunda shuri regere juri rese kloru sundegere la raga sa kalle mama kunda shuri regere juri rese kloru sundegere lift up your voice unto him as for mercy as for mercy lift up your voice if you and i wouldn't want to remain Frustrated, we don't want to experience failure constantly. We should acknowledge this counsel, this advice. Very, very, we should and see it as important. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. If you look at what happened to the people of Noah during his time, this was the family he found blessed 
and fill with grace. But because one of his sons made jest of his father, this one is his biological father, leave spiritual father this time around. This one is his biological world father. Till tomorrow, the cause is still at work. He never gave it. If you read, I think, um, Genesis 9. Is it 9? Can we look at verse 25? Genesis. Then he said, Noah said, Curse be Canaan, a servant of what? In Igbo side, they call it slave. This one is not having to do, nothing to do with servant. It said a servant of servants means slave. A servant of servant, he shall be to his what? Brethren. Verse 26. What did he say? A bit the end. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of what? Shame. And may Canaan, oh my God. May Canaan be his what? Servant. Verse 27. May God enlarge his what? Enlarge Japheth. And may he dwell in the tent of who? Again, want to go? And may Canaan be his servant. That is to say, from generation to generation, people that appear, the Canaan's children will be what? Serving. It's one of the worst calls on earth. Say, oh God, oh God. where I have made a mistake. Have mercy upon my life. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. La katashude regedia. Judea Rese Clorusson de Gedem. La Ragasa Calegede Gedem. Judea Rese Clorusson de Gedem. Judea Rese Clorusson de Gedem. La Ragasa Calegede. Judea Rese Clorusson de Gedem. La Ragasa Calegede. Judea Rese Clorusson de Gedem. Lorri Judea Rese Clorusson de Gedem. La ragasa kalima makunda shudia regede. Judea Rese Clorusson de Gedem. Zendeyami. In Jesus' name. Because of time. Because of time. I'm bringing this from the heart. From my heart. Because I have the insight. The knowledge of these things. For not too long ago. In the area of help us. In the area of help us. Because this 2021, you must be extra careful. In the area of help us, in Proverbs 17, verse 13. Proverbs 17, 13. What did he say? Proverbs 17, 13. Whoever rewards evil for good, whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not. He didn't say may not. Evil will not depart from his house. Don't be quarrel with your divine helpers, with general helpers. Bring fight. Don't break relationship with who God is using to what? Move you forward. 
and pick offense. The Bible says, evil will not depart from his house. We have about four kinds of houses. Am I talking to somebody? I don't know. But if you want me to add one, among, I want to stop on, on, on four. But if you want me to add one to it, to make it five, I can. Praise God. And what is that? Mostly sisters, but it goes with sisters and brothers. It goes for men and women. Biological father and mother is important. That if I come to marry your daughter, by marriage right, by the spiritual law, you become my world mother. You become my world father. Praise God. Do everything in your capacity not to break the relationship. Not to pick quarrel with them. Do everything in your capacity. Let it flow. Do everything in your capacity. Because one day you will still be what? Father-in-law, mother-in-law. And the way you treat your father-in-law, the way you treat your mother-in-law, it's not a cause, it's a law. That is the same way you will be treated. And if you look at spiritual law, it will increase and multiply. Say, Father, have mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lake it is shoot a reggae. Lakata shoot a reggae. Julia Race Clue Sunday. Makanda Lake it is shoot a reggae. Look to shoot a reggae. Zendaya Lake it is shoot a reggae. Makunda shoot a reggae seclure Sunday. Zendia le makunda shuri a regede la kata shuri a regede seklo resundede lo re mama kunda shuri a regede juri a re seklo resunde lo kuto shuri a regede in Jesus name all this from number one to number five you as a person need your blessings you need the blessing of God. You need the blessing of your father and your mother. You need the blessing of your what? Spiritual father and mother. You need the blessing of what? Already helpers. By being a helper, it's already what? A blessing. And you need the blessing of who? And these five people cannot bless you from one time or the other and you remain the same. May those who have understanding catch it. Say in the name of Jesus, this year I am going forward. I can never be stranded. I can never be limited. Nothing will hinder me. I will run with principle of heaven. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. No kuto shuri regede. Leke te shuri a regede, bala kata shuri a regede seke de, shuri a re se kloro sundege de, lo kuto shuri a regede se kloro sundege de, lo rima kunda shuri a regede de de, la kata shuri a regede se kloro sundege de, lo rima kunda shuri a regede de, zende ya leke te shuri a regede, lo kuto shuri a regede se kloro sundege de. You have some 
in Jesus name spirit of the living God I present your people including me my wife and my family before you I believe we have erred in one way or the other known and unknown directly or indirectly and we wouldn't want to struggle again this year help us my father and help us my father help us deliver us from every mistake from every error from every weakness from every area we have gone contrary May we remember this cancer today. Don't allow it to slip out of our mind, our heart, our hands, and our eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As we release the blood of Jesus 40 times, let the blood of Jesus help us to purify us, to wash us, to cleanse us in this direction in Jesus name the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus Christ the, the blood, blood of Jesus three the blood of Jesus four the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus two the blood of Jesus 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 by divine mercy of God we are withdrawn from causes, from condemnation, Amen. from destruction Amen. that comes through violating these five areas Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Even if you have a cause placed on you, I stand in Christ Jesus to say, you are decreed and declared free. You are free. We are free. We are free. We are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. We are free. The church is free. Our homes are free. Our marriages are free. Our spiritual life, we are free. And everybody say, the second time, the third time.
Oh, 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 oh,